What's up, y'all? How you doing today? You doing well? Have you drank some water today? Smiled today? Gave somebody a compliment, including yourself? It's a great day, man. It's a phenomenal day. Shout out to y'all for all the comments, for all the love. Extremely grateful. Road to 5,000. Thank y'all so much for liking, subscribing, sharing. It's, it goes a long way, all right? It goes a very, very long way, so shout out to y'all. But um, I sent out a request, and you guys responded. And shout out to the ones who heard me, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> I was, or, or was I? I don't know if I was speaking a little bit low. I don't know. Yeah, but y'all responded very quickly. And I, I appreciate that. I value that right there. Here we go. Tom McDonald. Shout out to his new song. We already reacted to it. It's already on the channel. But this one right here, I've been, I've been waiting for it. I've been waiting for it right here, this one. White boy. White boy. So I need, I need to be hearing what I, the request that I, because you know what I, and then there's, the people, that their names that, <laughs> that's why, see, that's why I love you. That's why we have a mutual understanding and an overstanding of what the hell is going on around us. You know what I mean? That's why I love you. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hey, man, just know I love you. Just know I love you guys. Let's go. Raising his hands. I cannot feel guilty for that I didn't do. But I can understand the reasons why you think that I should. Yeah, I'm white, but I never put your neck in no noose. And I never burnt a cross or hit my face with a hood. You can't just label me racist because I'm related to people who did some terrible way back before I was alive. I my agree. parents brought me up to treat everyone as an equal. I refuse to feel ashamed because of my pretty blue eyes. White supremacist. Any what? What do you say? Who? Uh oh, starting off early. To feel ashamed because of my pretty blue eyes. Fibonacci. Oh, I thought he said Fibonacci. Good. Hey, they don't know about that Fibonacci sequence. Yeah. But he said fuck the Nazis. Oop. White supremacist. Anyone who labels me as that because of my family genetics. The hatred for Caucasians is so pathetic. Go be proud that you're black, but don't hate me for some credit. I'm not the white devil. Ooh. Neo Nazi cop trying to pull the trigger. You can call me what you want, but I'd still never say the white race <laughs> as a whole ain't the enemy. There's racist white people, but we're far from that collectively. White boy, don't say that. White boy, oh, you so bad. White boy, you wish you were black. White boy, be a white boy. And um, this is where. I pitch in, all right? So give y'all a quick backstory. When I was a kid, I think I've explained this to y'all a couple of times, but when I was a kid, I went to predominantly white schools, predominantly Caucasian schools, okay? I was one of, in, in middle school, grade school, I was one of six in the whole entire school from K to what, fifth grade? I was one of six in the whole entire school, right? So you can imagine, <clears throat> The subtle, the subtle discrimination and enviousness that other white boys would feel towards me and have towards me because I was so athletic, well-spoken, well-mannered, had great penmanship, I was a good student, class clown also, made people laugh. You know, I had so many things that I equipped it early, right? So when I went around parties with these white boys and they, they took me different places, I realized, huh, the people that I'm with, the families that I'm eating dinner with and going on vacations with to Seaside, Florida, goddamn Colorado, Tennessee, never, I never experienced this shit in my life. Shout out my mom, but it was, it was just her and I and my meemaw, which is her mom. So... I was raised up with black, independent, strong women. So when I'm around the mom, the dad, siblings, and the dogs, when they got a pool, a back house, a trampoline, maids, chefs, babysitter, bro, what, what, what? I am living in my joy. So I'm saying all this to say, 
when I get to high school, right, and also I went to private Catholic school, so y'all can imagine how that stigma of that world of schools and schooling and, and viewpoint is just crazy, right? <clears throat> but when I went to high school, my, my high school, when I went for ninth grade, I got kicked out of my all-boy high school that I went to that I was so stuck on going, so stuck on staying to, I get asked to leave due to a situation, and then I go to my first ever co-ed school. And this school is also a private Catholic school in New Orleans, but <clears throat> it has a lot of minorities. The football team is predominantly black. Basketball team, predominantly black. But then when I got there, I experienced a totally different shift. Totally different shift. So I'm the new kid on the block, right? I'm the new kid. People looking at me like, man, who 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 we think he is, right? Mind you, we have uniforms, so you know, I'm, you know how first day of school is, first couple of days, first week, bro. I'm fresh as shit, haircut, wearing a tie, you know. Cool, play a swab, you know what I mean? So all the girls are looking around like, who is that? Who is this? Who is this new nigga? Who is this new dude? People on the football team who were in my grade were all freshmen. We ended up becoming best friends, Okay. Wherever he was, I was. Wherever I was, he was. Like, we, this was my man's 100 grand. Nobody could tell me otherwise. 6'6", six, six, tall, light-skinned, lanky motherfucker. He hated my guts. He hated me. And you know what he called me? He called me an Oreo. I've never experienced that ever. Or at least somebody telling me that or telling other people that to get that message to me from white people. I never experienced that. So to sum up that story, it's all about the selected white people that ruin it for the good white people. Because it's in any batch, it's the selected black people that make it bad for the good black people. It's the selected Mexicans that make it bad for the good Mexicans. You see what I'm saying? It's the bad cops that make it bad for the good ones. You know? Let's proceed. And also, I've gotten that all my life too. You talk too white. You talk so proper. You talk too white. Now, studying more, I realized that I shouldn't take this personal, number one, because this is not our, our language. What do people say whenever they curse or use profanity in their sentences? Excuse me for my French. Excuse my French. I'm sorry, but excuse my French. That's not our language. That's not our language. <laughs> right? So they're saying, they were saying subconsciously, but they didn't know the real meaning towards it. They were telling me that you talk like too much of a Frenchman and you are black as shit. <laughs> you don't have... You don't speak with Ebonics, which is our kind of language. Or you don't speak. Well, what, what they really meant to say was you, you know, you're not speaking ghetto. You're not speaking nigga. You're not speaking ignorant. So they had no other thing to say, but you talk too white. I thought she was white. You speak too proper. Wow. Imagine being able to phonetically pronounce your words and communicate effectively to somebody that you don't know how. So you chastising me for being able to. Tell me how to see it through my white eyes. If a black man is sipping
Sipping on some cognac sitting next to me. I don't assume that every black's favorite drink is Hennessy. I don't just like Tanisha because her first name isn't Stephanie. Not only is that wrong, it's a waste of energy. Ivory or ebony, 45 or 17, we all bleed the same. Martin Luther King or Kennedy. They're angry, I'm reciting the facts. He's white and he raps. He stole the culture right from the flags. Okay, he's fire, but we lit the flame. He's siphoning gas. So this corny little honky man, the whitey is whack. Yeah. Perpetuate the hatred within. And then you paint me with the brush you painted slave owners with. Yeah. White boy, don't say that. White boy, oh, you so bad. White boy, you. And what's so crazy about that situation and that statement is. This is why studying is so important. I'm sure y'all know who and what Creole people are, right? They look white. And you can really say that they are. They're not, but they are. As strong of a pigment of melanin that I have on my skin, my 16th 14th generation family of cousins look like Tom. Look like Michelle. With blue eyes, too. So, it's just so ignorant for people to say shit like that, not knowing. Like, okay, here's my point, right? And I'm going to just be so transparent with y'all because a lot of y'all don't know this on YouTube, but, you know, we here. JB and the fam, baby, we here. We locked in. Me being around white people so much, I told my mom this. I told my black mother one time. I said, Ma, why don't we have these things? Why don't we have a basketball court? Why don't we have a pool? Why don't we have a backyard? Why don't we have a bidet? I experienced a bidet at the age of seven going to these people's house. Why don't we have a maid? Why don't I have a babysitter? Right? She was heartbroken. She was devastated. But she knew this is what I'm seeing because I'm getting picked up after school and going on the weekend, sometimes even through Monday and Tuesday, and then coming home on Wednesday, I'm going to these people's house, mansions. They have four-story cribs. Four stories. Not the attic. There's a four-story lounge with pool tables, arcade games, goddamn uh, Nerf basketball rim. It's all type of shit, right? So I'm experiencing this at a young age. And I told my mom this, right? Ma, I want to be white. I told, I told my black mother this. Ma, I want to be white. Because I experienced the physical, monetary aspect of life at a young age messing with them. So... I'm going home to a two-bedroom, one-and-a-half-bedroom apartment with my mom on a third floor. But then a couple days later, I'm going to a three-story mansion. So I'm like, Ma, I want to be white. And then I'm asking with white girls. So I only have the perception of white. In my little kid brain, I'm thinking white is right. They have all the money. They have babysitters. They have all the, the physical and, 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 and monetary things that any young boy, any kid can desire. Jerseys, basketball, right? My mama did her best to not cry. She wanted to cry right in front of my face, but she was like, Okay, and she walked up. And I know for a fact, when she went to her room, she cried. But she had to trust me that I was going to grow out of that. She had to trust me, and I did. I love my people, boy. <laughs> I, lo I love my people, not just 
this, but I love this, right? But I'm saying I love my people who can do like I do as I do. That's that's family. That's family. If there is somebody like Tom I meet in real life, family. If your energy is right, your heart is in the right place, you have a soul, you can walk right into my world. Open arms. What's up? What you need? You need vitamin water? You need actual water? What, what, what you want, bro? <laughs> Take it. Go ahead. Have it. Yeah. No repercussions, consequences about it. So... It is a disease, y'all. It is a disease. Thinking that white is right and black is whack. Thinking that your name is Bernicia or Tanisha or Takesha. That you are ghetto. Just because you're a black man drinking some brown liquor, it's automatically Hennessy. Black people love uh, fried chicken and watermelon, and I do not like both. <laughs> I don't eat fried chicken, and I do not eat watermelon. I like watermelon very healthy. I'll probably have it in a smoothie or something, but you know. Any stigma, any box that gets put upon me, I break out of. Wish you were black, white boy, here white boy. Sister, an auntie, and uncle, and a grandma that I picture when you're openly hating. And God willing, one day I'll have a kid of my own. I refuse to let you blindly hate my wife or my baby, so go ahead and hate the racist. I pray for their extinction. If you want to hate the white people, just make the distinction. But yep. the ones who want the best yep. for everyone, regardless, and yep. the ones who built the system just to smother you with hardship. Stop. And that's why I say anybody who is living out any ist or ism, I don't fuck with you. You are not one of my kind. We can't relate. Racism, sexism, classism, prejudice, feminism. If you are with any of them isms or is, racist, prejudice, sexist, fe I don't give a shit. We can't relate. Stop before you say it. I know what you've been thinking. How's a straight white male in 2018? You're making me the villain by demonizing my race for things I didn't do and decisions I didn't make. And don't get and don't get them started on religion. Okay, what's your religious beliefs? You're Catholic, Christian, Baptist, Presbyterian, Episcopalian. Mm. Oh yeah. And do you think your God? Do you think God would like you judging somebody else based on their? No one that I call a friend has ever owned a slave, and neither did our dads or our dads' dads. Sakes acknowledging atrocities were wrongly committed is all that I can offer when I'm wrongly convicted. I would never hate a man for what God gave him in pigments, and I would never plot against him just because he is different. I would never judge a human for the cards he was given or call him lesser than myself because of the race that he's mixed with. White people that you hate aren't your neighbors or lawyers. They're the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bushes, and Royals. They're the people who monopolized the water and oil and injected your communities with drugs that they spoiled. Got no patience for Nazis. I think they're better off dead. The fighting hatred with hatred making the hate more intense. I don't want nothing to do with either side of the fence. So don't blindly attack me for wearing braids on my head. Hate the people who believe you put yourselves in the ghetto. Hate the ones who teach their children you ain't because they said so. Hate the ones who think you're all the same and judge you profusely because the way that you're portrayed on our news and in movies. Being white and being racist aren't the same man, I promise. No, it's hard to tell the difference if I'm just being honest. I deserve the chance to show you I'm not part of the problem and you owe it to yourselves. We got so much in common. White boy, don't say that. And y'all delivered. And y'all delivered. Y'all need to study those families. Study those families. and study if they are religious or sexist or feminist. Study that shit. <laughs> well, 
I'm here to break the break the lesson here. You're not gonna find it because they're not. They don't care about nothing. They don't care about shit besides their own. <laughs> White boy, oh you so bad. White boy, you wish you were black. White boy, be white boy. Say that white boy, oh you so bad. This is five years white ago. Boy, you wish you were black, white boy, dear white boy. And this was five years ago. Oh, and my bad for also skipping the end. <laughs> my bad for also skipping the end of uh the previous song. My bad. I know there was some shit. Hey, my bad, y'all. My bad. I got y'all on the next. <laughs> But y'all deliver, man. This was, this was, this was, yeah, yeah. Shout out to y'all for listening, watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing. I love y'all big time, man. Thank y'all so much. Hangover gang. Till the next time.